Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Sip, and All Subjects channel. So listen, some things that you can blame on preachers and some things you can blame on women. Now, guys take the blame, too, in some of these cases because they let these women run them off. And this is what happens. This is what happens. Now, I'm not, I don't believe in bashing anybody for the choices that they make in their personal life. But let's just take a look at this fair use. Shout out to, to the Hebrew Israelites for telling the truth. Uh, they, de they deserve these viral videos. They deserve for their videos to go viral. The Most High blessed them, and that's great. But we're going to talk about this. Watch this. So, this is a prime example of people who try to downplay the Bible. This is what's left. These are some of the people that downplay the Bible, talking about it's a man-made book. Of course it is. That's not, I don't get why people try to use that as an argument. Man did put the Bible together. Man did decide what books would be in the Bible, but some things are supposed to be in your conscience. So when they want to do this right here, now they want to talk about the Bible is man-made. He said, y'all contradicting yourself. Y'all contradicting yourself. Because this is what he want to do. I don't get why people won't just do what they want to do and just deal with it later when they stand before God. Look, look, look how mad she is. See, this is the point I'm making. Wait, let me go back to her. Let me go back to her. See, this is what I'm talking about. People want to do this stuff, but they want you to say, yeah, that's great. The Most High is going to bless you. Wait, hold on. I need to go back. Wait. Man, why is it doing this? It don't normally do this. Hold up. Maybe because it's a short. We'll play it again if need be. Look, look at it. Look. Look. Look, look, look. Fair use. Oh, man. I'm glad they took it off of me. Exactly. 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 He preaching truth, y'all. Hey, listen. This is what I be saying, and this go for YouTube to the video reviewers. I'm not in any means trying to bash or trying to uh, beg these guys to come to the Most High. That's their choice. But y'all know what, man? What they doing gets this right here. Y'all contradicting yourself. Exactly. Exactly. And this goes back to one of my um, one of my subscribers. I made a video for him yesterday. Stretch. Women be saying they don't need a man, right? But then this is what happened. Okay. Did his mother need a man? Just saying, y'all. I'm just, hey, listen. I'm just saying, like, did she? Now, you hear that? I want to go back to that again. So... Because the Bible doesn't agree with his style of dress and his choice at body language and lifestyle, he want to talk about how it's a man-made book. 
Okay, let me ask you something. If the Bible is man-made, let's say it's man-made. It is, man put it together. But the words in the Bible can, are some of which the very words of the Most High God. Now, we can play this game all day. The Bible is a man-made book. The Bible is a man-made book. Okay, what does the Bible tell you? Is this improving society? Is this making the world better, a better place? I mean, you tell me. You tell me if this is what we need to do. Like if all of us men did this right here. If all of us men did this, would it make the world a better place? Is, a wor is the world a better place with this? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm asking on behalf of the Most High God. Does this make the world a better place? I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not condemning them. If I saw them on the street, I would keep going. I would keep going. I would. So, but is this making the world a better place? So all of the people who are forcing this and putting this, trying to put this in society, that's all I'm asking. Is this making the world a better place? Is this curing disease? Is this stopping hunger? Is this making people view each other in a better light? This is what the devil this, okay, this is do as thou will, which is basically the pillar of satanic doctrine. This is it to a, a T. This is do as thou will. But what did the Bible say about it? Oh, the Bible's a man-made book. The Bible's a man-made book. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But the words in the Bible... Heal the sick. The words in the Bible, feed the poor. If it were not for the Bible, it would be complete chaos. If it were not for the Bible as a spiritual book, and if it were not for, and other books too, I'm not taking away from the other books because y'all know what I believe. I believe a person's interactions with, with the Most High God is what count. Now, let me ask you this. If you were to take a guess, how do you think the Most High would view this right here? Like if he went into judgment with that outfit on, how do you think that would go? I'm just asking. I'm not bashing. I'm just asking. Now see this right here. That's what we talking about in the manosphere. That's what we talking about. You see how mad she was getting? See, these are the ones that say they don't need a man. These are the ones, those two girls over there, I don't need no man. They don't need a man, but I guarantee you they doing things to get what they want to get out of men. I wouldn't be surprised if they working, if you know what I'm talking about. If they twerking, they working. Anybody you see on the internet twerking, they probably working. But see, I'm trying to, and if I get a yellow dollar sign, I'm definitely getting it revealed because I ain't said nothing wrong. I'm just saying. He said be fruitful and multiply. Who he going to multiply with? One of them girls? That's the only chance he got? That's what they were trying to tell him. That's what they were trying to tell him. See, in the church, that's why I don't mess with the Christian church like that. Like, I deal with them individually. The ones that saved on their own merit. But me for sick, me going to the assemblies, nah, not likely unless I'm teaching them. Because this right here, 
I guarantee you maybe six years prior, he was in the sump choir. I guarantee you. Him and the other dude, they were in some choir. I bashed it, but the most high still of me, he going to take me back. He would. But he going to tell you, hey, listen, you can't, you can't do what you was doing. He would take you back. Absolutely. But the most high is powerful. And the most high is the apex of masculinity. The devil is the apex of femininity. I was slightly explaining this to somebody yesterday without trying to get too deep with it. Today is like, there you go with that devil is a female stuff. But let me ask you something. What you know about the devil, right? And what you know about God, who do you think would represent what what the devil is and what the, what God is? Do you think this person in the picture represents what the Bible says the most high is? Or do you think this person in the picture represents what the devil is? I'm just asking you. This is the truth, man. The channel is. The no matrix, no simple, no matrix. This right here, this matrix. This matrix right here. This is matrix all the way. So y'all know what I think of the matrix and you know what you got to do once you get out.